Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pete Moss Kitchen today. We're going to cook some Louisiana gumbo, I guarantee you, right here. You ready, Mr. Wayne? I'm Mack? ready, brother. Let's do Guys, it. it don't take a whole lot to make a good gumbo, does it? No, it's pretty simple. A lot of people get real nervous and they start panicking. I'm not going to panic today. You? Don't panic, people. I'm not going to do it, guys. Let me tell you something. It don't take much. I tell you what, we got some uh, chicken. Yep. Dark all meat. cut up. We got some sausage. We got some seasoning blend. What is that? We got bell pepper in there. It's the green, the yellow, the red, it's onions, and it's celery in there. That's all it is. And we got some okra. You can't have gumbo without okra. We got some uh, Pima's Cajun Shake. We don't use salt and pepper. Everything is in this can right here, guys. We also got some uh, chicken broth. Stock. Yep. Where'd that come off of? Come off of that chicken. It did? Yep. You sure? All right. Yep. Come right off the chicken, guys. And we also got some flour and some what? Sweet cream butter to make the roux. That's all it takes. And a good what? Wooden spoon? Flat wooden spoon. Why's the spoon bent? I guess you did that. No, I hit you right in the head. <laughs> All right, guys, let me tell you something. We're finna get started right now. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Put that sausage down in that pot like that. You gonna get started with the what? I'm gonna get started with the roof. The roof? I'm gonna put a little sweet cream butter in here. What is it? Sweet cream butter. And I got the sausage going. This is the real stuff. I don't like using the. Why the you put butter in there? Get a lot root. of people use oil, you use using butter, right? I'd rather use butter, it gives it a better taste. All right. Absolutely. I got the sausage going. I'm gonna let that cook down whole, and get whole stick good. of butter? A whole stick. All yeah. right. Because so you make more root than what you need. Uh-huh. And depending on how thick you want it, you right. add more root to it. If you don't want that thick. We're going to put a few more right on top of that. Absolutely. We're going right to put some of that sausage. We're going to put some of this root too. As soon as we get oh, the butter melted and get the flour in there. But I always make more roux. You can actually put it up. You can put, put a little bit more oil on top of that sausage. What you use is my olive oil. Olive oil, right on top of the sausage. This roux you can put up. You put it in a ice box. You can put it in a jar. Put it in a ziploc uh -huh. bag when you're cooking something else. I don't like food hot. I like it spicy. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I like good seasoning in it. But a lot of people they want to cook Cajun food. And they think that you put hot spices and stuff in it, and make it hot. But you can't enjoy that sometimes. I like to be able to sit down and enjoy it. And uh, Pimo's Cajun Shake, I want to tell you, it's got everything in it that we need. It's uh, it's not too spicy. It's not too salty. It's got exactly everything in it that we so, need. So, so far what we've done, we cooked the chicken down. We, we, we take the broth off the chicken. That's right. That's what we use for the stock for the gumbo. The stock for the gumbo, okay. And I always use dark meat. So and we fix the chicken. You ready? Absolutely. We put, all right, got the sausage cooking down. You can see down on the pot, you already got a little juice already in the bottom of the pot. That's what's going to give that gumbo a good taste. Come now, on. we're fixing to add the chicken. Right now, it's already cooked. We cooked it down. We took the stock off the chicken. There goes your uh, chicken in right now. We're going to add a little pea moss to this root that we got going here. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, y'all could just smell this right now already cooking. All we got is right now is just chicken, sausage, and pea moss Cajun shake. Guys, you can make a sandwich with this right here, I promise you, right now. Oh man, I tell you what, when you put that seasoned blend in there in a few minutes and uh, roll that chicken and that sausage around that seasoned blend and it starts soaking up all those flavors, man. And that's actually going to thicken. This is going to, yep, it's going to thicken. This. And you can make it as dark as you want to. The thing about a roux is, don't never stop stirring it. I have somebody on Facebook that was asking, that was making a roux. Mm -hmm. Said if you get a scorch taste in it, can you still use it? No, you just throw that out and start it. Guys, you can't put too much of this in there, I promise Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Don't eat more about it. You can't get that scorch uh, taste out of your roof. That's why it's important. I use a flat bottom wooden spoon to make sure that we can get the bottom of that pan, that skillet, real good and nothing just left on there. And you just, as we add the uh, stock in here, once we put the stock in there, that's going to thicken this gumbo up, guys. Absolutely. Well, so we can put a little gumbo filet in it. I put some in there. It's just regular gumbo filet. A lot of people don't like it, but you can put that right in there right now. That ain't hurt it. You know where filet comes from? Yeah. It comes from a sassafras tree. I got mine from Winn Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you, letting you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> look, it's native to Louisiana. It comes from a sassafras tree. They yeah. used the leaves for filet, yeah. but also the root. That's where they used to get the old time root beer from. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're in the woods and you knock over a tree and you smell that root beer flavor. That's a sassafras tree. Where the leaves for filet come from, that's where root beer comes from. Yep. Well, I got mine from the store. Yeah. I just let you know. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and add the uh, the bell peppers, the green onion, the onions, and all that's going in, guys. All this does is kick it up another notch. I'll guarantee you. So Every sure. time you add it, it's just like shifting gears in a car. All it does is bring it to another level, guys. 
All that, it does is bring it to another level. And that meat's Oh gonna, Lord, this is smelling good, Shy. Oh Lord and mercy. And that's gonna soak up all them. Guys, you can take that there. right there and put that on a, a, a po' boy bun. Yes, indeed. About an hour after that, you gotta go to bed. You be sleepy, yeah. I thought you were gonna say you had to go to the bathroom. I can't hear you now. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. What do you think, Mr. Wayne? Hey. And you see, I keep good. putting this Cajun shake in there, huh? That's just putting it in another gear, son. Absolutely. That's all that does, putting it in another gear. You put all you want because it's not salty. Mm -mm, it's it not is, salty. And it don't have no lot of heat. So It's you're actually not... got less salt than most. And not only yeah. that, it's got a little bit more garlic, which you got to have some garlic. Yeah, absolutely. You like gumbo filet? Yes, I do. Here, take your taste then. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> gumbo filet, shy. That's good, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to add some uh, stock to it. We're going to add some stock right now. This fancy little picture here we got. You ready? Pour it in there, brother. This is just a stock off the chicken going straight in the pot. Yeah, and that's off dark chicken, too. The other thing, white meat, it gets too dry, you know. But uh, the best flavor is going to come from the dark meat with the bones and the fat and stuff. And then you always strain it. And then I lay the chicken out and I debone it. And, uh, you know, take all the skin and stuff away from it. And also, I always watch for them little bitty bones that's in that meat sometimes because you don't want no child or something to uh, to get a hold of those bones. And uh, sometimes it happens. We're getting there. Getting there, guys. I'm yes, kidding. indeed. This roof coming along. Guys, see how, look at that. Guys, this is coming together great, guys. I'm going to tell you. See how simple this is? Gumbo, I guarantee, coming along just fine. Put a little bit of Cajun shake in this. A little bit more gumbo filet. You ain't got to put gumbo filet, but I like a little bit in mine. Yes, indeed. You see that roux getting just a little bit darker and a little bit darker all the yep. time? Yep. But always be sure. Keep moving that spoon, that flat spoon, and get yep. a little bit of it off the yep. bottom. It'll burn. Look at this, guys. Look at this yep. roux turning colors. The, the longer you leave it on there, the darker that roux will get and the thicker it'll get. Absolutely. And that's what's going to thicken this gumbo. And it's just flour with Cajun shake and butter. I use butter. Some people you use... think we're going to need a little bit more in this, Mr. Wayne? A little bit more liquid? Uh, you can add a little water if you want to. Yes, sir. I'm making a mess already. So far, all we got in right now is chicken, sausage, and uh, onions, bell peppers. As soon as that comes up to a boil, we're going to start... Well, I'm going to go ahead and kick it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. And it just come to a boil. Once it's come to a boil, you can start adding your... Uh, Root to it. Root to it. All right, I'm going to cut this off to make sure that we don't have any issue now because it's dark enough. Like I said, you can see right there, the roux is starting to turn. It, it'll actually go all the way black, you guys. Yeah, hey, we're going to get that done or what? Yes, we're going to put a little bit in there. We're going to start adding it in there. Look at it, guys. Just add that roux. Yeah, so just... Guys, it's really simple to make a good gumbo, I guarantee you. Yes, it you. is. A lot of people got so many different ways of making it. Some people start off with a... Uh, some people start off with a roux. But guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of the best ways to make a good gumbo. You, you, you do just what I did. It's very simple. Four or five good steps right here. Like I said, then you make the roux on the side. You can actually make this thing. Let's put in some okra, man. Uh, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Guys, we got some okra. We did cut it up. It looks really good. We cut it up, and that way you can eat it without yeah, choking. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just picking, guys. Look right here, guys. Look at that. Hey, I love it. Ooh, dog, it's going to make it good, I guarantee you, guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's going to be good. Now they just need Man, Lord have mercy, guys. Let me tell you something. You see how that chicken's kind of come apart in there? I did. I like it when it comes apart like that. You and, do? And the longer that you cook it, the more that chicken comes apart. Mm -hmm. oh, so you're getting man. hungry already, huh? Oh, I hear man. something like... that make a belly. I thought belly. that was a motorboat on the side, baby. That's, no that's your belly, man. That's my belly. I thought that was a motorboat. Or, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. That's, That's your belly right. doing that. That's right. Yes, indeed. Lord have mercy, guys. Look at it. Does that look good? And to top what? it off, guys, you make sure you put that in there right there. Look at that right there. Some more Ooh, doggy, look at that. Now, look. One more little gumbo filet right there. You done put the whole tree in there. Just look at that top. Look at that. Then what we're going to do now, we're going to turn that thing down a little bit. Absolutely. We're going to let that simmer. We're gonna put the lid on it. Yes. And we're gonna let that thing sit for about how long? Uh, 15 minutes or so. It should be 15, good. 20 minutes? Yeah. Let that simmer down for that a while. That okra be in there, be good. And we're gonna come back to it a little while. We're gonna let you taste it. And I'm it's all ready. done, guys. That's all it takes to make a good gumbo. I am ready.
All right, Mr. Wayne, you've been cooking for a little while. You want to see what it looks like? Let's see, brother. Let's see what's going on, brother. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I'm ready. You ready to dip me through that? You ready to taste this, man? Absolutely. You got me a ladle there? All right. You got this surprise in that bowl? This is the surprise that we were telling you folks about a little while ago. Potato salad. Potato salad? Potato salad. No rice? No rice. No crackers. Just potato salad. Potato salad in the bottom of the bowl. Absolutely. Put, that, put that gumbo right on top of right it. Right on top of it. Let's try it, brother. Yes, sir. You know, there's a lot of people that don't know about this, but I tell you what, once you try it, I tell you one thing. And that juice is yes, going indeed. right down oh, in Lord. that. And look what we're going to do. We're going to put some key moss cake in the shape. Why don't you trade me bowls there, brother? Oh, Lord, look at this. Thank you, sir. My, my, my. Look at that. Look my at the potato salad. Guys, right in top of this bowl, in the bottom. Like and look at all that juice going right down look, in that tater salad. Lord look right have there. mercy. And you just make sure you get you a little potato salad in that spoon. Oh my God. With that juice. Guys, I'll tell you what, it just does not get no better than this. Sir, let me get right there with you, mm. please, sir. Is it good? Oh my goodness. Guys, I'll tell you what, it just don't get no better than this. I'll tell you right now, this is the way you do the gumbo down here in Louisiana. I tell you right now, it's good. Is it good? Yes, it's good. And it didn't take that long to make it. It don't take long to make it, guys. Just a few ingredients. Chicken, sausage, bell peppers, Pima's Cajun shake. Season blend. And tater salad. Can you, oh, my goodness. Have you ever tried it like that, guys? If you didn't, you're missing out. I guarantee you. Not rice, potato salad. Louisiana gumbo. How's it taste, brother? Mm. <laughs> it's good, I guarantee you, guys. Y'all need to just tune in more and more every Friday, guys. I guarantee you. Pima's Kitchen right here, guys. It's good. P Maul's Cajun Shake just brings it to a whole new level. I promise you guys, you're gonna enjoy it. And you can find all the P Maul season on the website. Just go there, hit the subscribe button, and you're good to go. You order what you want, it'll be sent right directly to you. Is it good? It, oh, there y'all. Yeah. So, so now you're gonna buy me that new dress? Yes. Sir. I'm just picking, brother. <laughs> I'm just picking, brother.